Hello, I'm Major General Tom Schronko, Commanding General, United States Army Special Forces Command. I have the distinct privilege of commanding the United States Army Special Forces, also known as the Green Beret. President Kennedy saw the need for a force that was uniquely organized, trained, and equipped to fight against insurgents. We are that force. As described by the Army Chief of Staff, General Casey, the current strategic security environment reflects an era of persistent conflict, an exceedingly complex and ambiguous environment. It is an era of 24-7 media coverage, and while our access to world events and information may seem to have increased, many in America today may not fully appreciate the dangers we face from terrorism, lawless regimes, failing states, and unstable governments. This is of special concern as we combat a determined and media-savvy enemy who is focused upon disinformation, the wanton destruction of free societies, and the killing of innocent civilians. We in Special Forces felt a need for a film of our own through which we could provide a view into our unique, unconventional capabilities and to inform audiences of our proven and effective approach to counterinsurgency. We work in conjunction with the other services, government agencies, and host nation forces to carry out U.S. foreign policy and build partnership capacity throughout the world. We are proficient in both combat and humanitarian operations. Operating quietly in small teams, we seek the improvement of people's lives and train their security forces, enabling them to defend their people and protect their freedom. Our motto is De Oppresso Liber, to free the oppressed. The global war on terror, as was World War II, is a struggle for our freedom and our way of life. When we contemplated producing this film, we remembered the World War II era Why We Fight film series produced by Frank Capra. For historical significance, we contacted Frank Capra Jr. of EUE Screen Gem Studios and discussed the project. In the same great tradition of the heroes of Hollywood of the early 1940s, he was very enthused to follow in his father's footsteps and help us produce this film about today's U.S. Army Special Forces in the fight against terrorism. I am honored to introduce Mr. Frank Capper, Jr. and our Special Forces soldiers telling you in their own words why we fight now in a global war on terror.